Hey there, Todd here. Uh, I want to show you some amazing things on my Quest 3 headset. Uh, what you're looking at here is kind of my home uh, where I begin my journey into some kind of virtual reality or mixed reality. Uh, you can change this to different seascapes or landscapes of most any kind. Uh, it's pretty remarkable. Uh, you can see from the detail in here that it's just fascinating. Uh, you can see my hands, you can see um, above you, below you, behind you. Uh, it's virtual reality and it's 365 degrees. Uh, so let's go take a, a look at some other places that I have experienced. So this is uh, the space, right? You can move things around here. Here are some of the initial options uh, that you get. So we can take a look at the muscles. What's really amazing here though too is that you can like literally move around this and get close to it. Pretty remarkable. There's also like an ant mode, <laughs> so you can be very small. So there's like the bigger skeleton. Stop that. Put this over here. Put this over here so you can see it. So we have like muscles, right? So all the muscles. You can take one and separate it so you can see it. And you can take that and spin it around. Shows you information over here on that particular muscle. You can look at inside all these options here. There are animations, um, all kinds of them, different parts again of the spine and whatnot. And there's a whole bunch of these. Um, you can kind of focus in on parts of the head and again you can really like get close. That's one of the most amazing things here is you can really stand close to this object and get to know what parts of the bones are. Next space here is uh, Curio uh, XR, or VR I think, and it is entirely done with your hands. So you're seeing my hands here at the bottom of the screen. Uh, this is chemistry, so you can grab molecules, you can combine them, you can see animations about how they interact with each other. Uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, this is very academic stuff, so all of these tools are like course related anatomy or chemistry or uh, one of them is like um, propulsion and flight. In this case you can uh, annotate over them, uh, you can uh, draw connections in different colors, shapes, uh, you can erase things. One of the features in this space is a like a learning partner. It's a little AI bot that allows you to talk to somebody you can ask them questions, they can answer you uh, real time about anything on the screen. It's pretty remarkable. And uh, this is something I'm also experimenting with. So this is a video uh, taken with a 360 camera of somebody walking into the Grand Canyon. You can see that it's pretty amazing here on this screen, but in the headset, it's much, much clearer. Uh, it's really remarkable. It's a 4K video, uh, unbelievable. And you can see they're walking down into the canyon. This next video is somebody who is uh, down on the Colorado River at the confluence uh, with the Little Colorado. Uh, and it, you're on a rafting trip. These, there's so many of these videos. It's a, you can go look at them, just type in 360 video. Uh, they're all over the world. And students can go experience these things through the VR headset. This is a panoramic picture that I took with my phone. Uh, you can stand in your living room and be at your kid's graduation at Yankee Stadium. 
that's pretty cool. Uh, this next picture was taken uh, from Chuckanut Drive, south of Bellingham. Uh, we spent uh, some time there during the summer. But you can upload your own content, uh, 360 videos, panoramic pictures, and anything that you put on YouTube you can experience in the headset. Okay, so this is a way to work. Uh, this can be a collaborative space. Uh, as you can see here, I have some browsers open. It could be anything, Word or whatever. As you can see around me here, I have this little platform in space. And um, yeah, super amazing. All of these windows are things that you can activate. Uh, it is 100%. Uh, just like multiple screens. Um, this is pretty amazing, right? You can turn things on and off. So here you can see my office, right? You can be back in the mixed environment. I'm just using my hands here, right? So you can hide your screen. So you're just uh, wherever you're at. Uh, pretty darn remarkable how clear these are with your hands. Uh, this is called Immersed. Pretty amazing. Okay, so what about games? I know what you're thinking. What are the crazy games you can play? Well, uh, I got a couple to look at here. Uh, and let's go. This first game here is called Beat Saber. It's probably one of the more popular on the platform. A uh, lot of fun. Uh, you can play collaboratively with other people uh, in your teams or randomly online. Uh, it gets pretty crazy pretty quick. Let's slow it down a little bit. Uh, this is a little more relaxing, like miniature golf, right? So uh, here's an amazing course. Uh, you can play with other people. Uh, it can randomly pair you with people. Uh, you can play in teams. You can play tournaments. Uh, but I'm just playing here all alone out in this beautiful course. So this next one is mixed reality. It's partly here in my office and it's partly happening right in front of my eyes. This is some of the most amazing stuff I've seen.
So if that gets to be too much, you can relax. Uh, and of course, there's an app for that. Uh, so this is like a meditation type environment. It's pretty weird. You can breathe in and it draws in. It knows you're breathing in. And it knows that you're breathing out. Uh, it, it's pretty remarkable and it is relaxing. Today's reflection will help to create a peaceful sense of well-being. Breathe with me. Time your breath with the flow. Connect with your breath, slowly breathing in and out. So that's about it. Uh, I have a number of these apps on my personal Quest headset, uh, and I'll bring it to the office anytime you want to try it out and see how this works. Uh, it is amazing. Uh, let me know if you want to test it out.